Well, I always would say it feels like someone is chopping my back in half. Like I just felt this pain like across my back. As the pain started getting worse, I started having pain down my leg and into my foot would go numb. I knew I had the degenerative disc. No one had explained to me about the disc was compromising my nerve. No one seemed to understand what it was that was wrong with me until I came to Dr. Phillips and he like immediately looked at my x-ray and said, this is what's wrong and this is what I can do to fix it. The fusion was probably the reasonable way to go. And wherever possible, obviously, we like to perform it in the least invasive fashion. So TLIF involves a fusion that's performed across the disc space. So essentially what we do is we go in from the back. Usually it involves one or two one-inch incisions. We then access the spine down specialized tubes, often using a microscope. What we then do is we sneak by nerves. And essentially at that point, you clean out the disc, put in a cage, perform a fusion. The cage stabilizes the disc. Usually that surgery takes about two hours and the uh, majority of patients leave either on the first or the second day. Immediately I can notice a difference with the sleeping and that I knew I wasn't numb. Obviously, I mean, it goes without saying that it's all about the patient. And I think minimally invasive uh, surgery, spine surgery, has evolved to the point where it really meets those goals. It allows you to provide a very customized operation for that individual patient. Becky has this, does a lot of workout stuff and she's back working out. And obviously, that's really rewarding. And I think, you know, it really speaks to the advantage of minimally invasive surgery. Within a week and a half, I felt fine. When I came from my two-week visit, they told me I could drive short distances. They told me I shouldn't go to work for like four weeks. After about a week and a half, I went into the office for a little bit. I think what the Spine Institute does is bring together people that are really committed to doing this in a minimally invasive way. It really is state-of-the-art minimally invasive surgery. The techniques have evolved, and it's really exciting to be able to do these traditionally big, long surgeries in a short time through a very small incision and just watch the patients sort of get up and go the next day.